Here at the Montgomery College Bookstore, students can purchase almost any textbook for any class at the college. Prices can range from $80 to $250 for a single textbook. The access codes for e-textbooks, which allow the student to download a digital copy of the book, cost 40% less than a new textbook. More accessible, uh, for instance, and also the cost. The, the, um, if the library is able to have it, and to, it, it there's a, the cost factor involved too. Uh, for, for instance, textbooks tend to be very expensive. And because of the expense, if the library can have it either, either uh, in a ebook form or, or even on reserve, in our uh, print copy on reserve, we're able to, to provide a service to the students to help them out. I personally, I think uh, the advantage is that um, basically they put the code on the computer and then just use the computer. Mm -hmm. If they have a laptop or if they go to class, most of the classes already have computers. That's um, Selling, not, it's not an like ebook, but we sell like access codes. E textbooks are better than regular textbooks because uh, all the students will be using the same edition of a textbook, so there's no confusion about limited information. Um, they're also supposed to cut costs because books alone last year were five hundred dollars, and they're supposed to be free now. And finally, they're supposed to, uh, I guess, reduce the weight on bed. So, a little bit of concern for physical health. Then. I think the disadvantages for ebooks are, are having to sit with a, in front of a computer or sit in front, of, you know, or use a pad or something like that too. Also, the ebooks tend to. Uh, one of the things for e-textbooks is the fact that and this has been discovered through the bookstore when students have bought the textbooks. And the reasons we don't have so many of them is because the publishers will put a time limit on how long the textbook is available. For instance, you, you may buy, pay $60, buy the textbook in electronic form, and then in, in 180 days it goes away. So you, it's not permanent. Um, this advantage, well, it's almost like the opposite, you know, that some people don't like to use always the laptop they have. Um, there's one thing I, I'm not sure about. I don't know if they have to have internet access to use the ebook. So that means if, they, if there's no Wi-Fi around or they don't have any um, on their iPad any information that they can use it, then they might not be able to use the ebook. Uh, you have to rely on uh, the iPad. That's the platform that we're using. Uh, we're using the battery life. Textbooks, as far as in the paper form, they're probably, in, the publishers are probably endangering the, the, the goose that laid the golden egg because of the cost of textbooks and, and the different than the constant you uh, coming out with new editions of textbooks. I'm not sure about the trend, you know, this. I mean, I, I think students probably rather have um, with the iPhones and iPads and you know, if everything is computerized, maybe. There's enough students who come in, you know, and say, I'd like to have a textbook in my hand, you know, but if, if it's like a big price difference, then I would think they would come more. Um. I think that at least at our school, we're going to continue using regular textbooks at some point because the amount of kids that play games are... Although e-textbooks are portable and cost-effective, it looks like their capacity for distraction in the classroom and the fact that they cannot be resold means that they will never overtake physical textbooks in popularity. However, they do have strong advantages in their own right, and it will be interesting to see how their use grows and changes in the future.